This morning, Secretary McDonald is facing a new challenge. It comes after last summer's scandal at a Phoenix VA hospital, which rocked the Department of Veterans Affairs. CBS News investigations revealed widespread manipulation of appointment wait times. Now, CBS News has uncovered similar mismanagement within the Veteran Benefits Administration. Wyatt Andrews is in Washington with our investigation. Wyatt, good morning. Good morning. The veterans benefits side of the VA pays out $95 billion a year. That's in disability benefits, pensions, and even the American flags that veterans receive at their funerals. But our investigation has found widespread mismanagement of those claims, resulting in veterans being denied the benefits that they've earned, with many veterans dying before the VA gets around to answering the claim. Why would they take 10 years to send me a letter? Dory Stafford says this letter, obtained by CBS News, shows how badly the VA claim system is broken. It's dated July 29, 2014, thanking Dory's husband Wayne, an Army veteran, for the disability claim he filed in July of 2004. That decade-long delay is just one problem. The other is that Wayne Stafford died in an accident seven years ago without hearing a word from the VA. And now this, does this upset you? It, it upsets me. Why would you suddenly, after all these years, send a letter to a dead man? Five whistleblowers at the Oakland, California Veterans Benefits Office tell CBS News that Stafford's claim is one of more than 13,000 informal claims filed between 1996 and 2009 all of which were stashed in a file cabinet and ignored until 2012. Informal claims are letters from veterans expressing a desire to apply for benefits, and by law, the VA must respond with an application. We were getting letters from elderly veterans and for widows who were literally at their end of their life begging for help. Rusty Ann Brown was part of a team finally assigned to process those claims two years ago, and the job began, she says, with a disturbing discovery. Half of the veterans were dead that I screened, so almost every other piece of paper that I touched was a veteran who had already... And so that means they died, this veteran died, Correct. waiting for their first answer Correct. from the VA. Correct. But whether the veteran was dead or still alive, Brown says VA supervisors in Oakland ordered her team to mark the claims no action necessary and to toss them aside. Whistleblowers say that was illegal. They wanted you to hide them? Absolutely. The VA didn't help them. The VA didn't care about them. They took them, they put them in a file, and they stuffed them away. 13,184 yes, veterans who were waiting for Begging. an answer. Begging for help. When Brown raised concerns, she says she was taken off the project. Then, this past summer, Brown and former VA employee Tony Silviero found a cart full of those same claims ignored yet again. We pulled 15 indiscriminately to look at, just 15. Eight of them were owed money. One was owed $36,000. And this was a year ago? This was just a few months ago. A few months ago. Last week, the VA Inspector General confirmed that because of poor record keeping in Oakland, veterans did not receive benefits to which they may have been entitled. How many veterans is not known because thousands of those records were missing when the inspectors arrived. Lost claims and missing records are a problem nationwide. In the last year, the IG has found serious issues in at least six VA benefits offices, including unprocessed claims documents in Philadelphia, 9,500 records sitting on employees' desks in Baltimore, and computer manipulation in Houston to make claims look completed when they were not. They owed him an answer? Yeah, they owed him an answer. Dory Stafford now lives with friends in the mountains of Northern California in a home with no electricity. Example of what happens when the VA conceals a file. It doesn't just harm the veteran, it could also hurt the family. Typically, a surviving spouse is offered an American flag, help with burial expenses, or even a modest pension, but none of that happens if there's no file.
I wasn't even aware there was widow benefits. I really wasn't. Even if it was a modest pension? A modest pension, even say 400 a month, it would so help. To the whistleblowers, all those lost files also raise serious questions of whether the VA is accurately reporting the true number of disability claims. When they hid all of these thousands of claims, that was not in the backlog. Oh no! It took the claims out of the backlog. Oh, yes. they they were never they were never part of the backlog. No sir. Are you saying that part of the reason to hide them was not to have them show up in the system at all? Correct. Yes, sir. The VA declined our many requests for an on-camera interview. It did admit to widespread problems in the handling of claims, but blamed that on the transition from a mail-based system to a new electronic system. The VA said in this statement, electronic claims processing has transformed mail management for compensation claims, greatly minimizing any risk of delays due to lost or misplaced mail. As for the backlog, the VA is again promising to fix any problem that comes to its attention. Again, quote, for any deficiencies identified, steps are taken to appropriately process the documents and correct any deficiencies. Nora? Wyatt, incredible reporting by the investigative team and you, and so important. What do you think this means for the backlog? Well, uh, Nora, let's take what Secretary McDonald said yesterday, where he claimed that the backlog has been reduced by 60% to roughly 500,000. I mean, give the VA credit, everybody tells us that they are stepping up the processing of claims. But every expert is also telling us, and I'm talking about whistleblowers, I'm talking about veterans groups, the Office of Inspector General, they all say the VA has lost basic data integrity in how they tabulate these claims, starting with the number of claims that they outright conceal or simply aren't counting. Gail? All right, Wyatt, thank you. They were 